Ready. Hello, hello, I am PMC Trilogy. I have some excellent folks with me here. We're gonna show off True Crime New York City. First, let me make sure that they all get introduced. I got a musical daredevil. <laughs> I, yeah, a musical daredevil. I learned this game for a 12 hour challenge a few years ago. I got Fretzel. Hello, I am Fretzel. Um, do you want to disclose Authentic. the reason I'm here? Yeah, yeah please say, <laughs> identify yourself. Yeah, so I'm here as the true New Yorker in residence, which is a title that is real and meaningful and no one has any strong opinions about. Mm -hmm. You're going to have a lot to add to this, mm -hmm. I'm sure. Mm -hmm. All the facts about New York that we're going to learn. He's not introducing me yeah, because... <laughs> now, now, wait a minute. He's not introducing me because okay. last time I was here, I didn't introduce him for my run for 15 <laughs> minutes. Mm -hmm. So I deserve that, frankly. Yeah. But I'm KZ Fru. KZ Fru. I have played this game. I have found a few things for this game. And um, my advice to you, my friends, is don't play it. Don't do what we're doing at home. And um, there you go. All right, so in order to start this run, we need a file name. Mr. Dangerous, what is the file name? It seems that the file name, if I have this thing uh, pulled up here, a score of $725 to 430 and 125. Suleta is our winner. All right, it is Suleta Sunday in here. Uh, if you don't know, that is the main character of the current Gundam show. I told people online I would wear this if that was the winner, and here we are. Uh, the time will start when uh, the, uh, the first load screen ends, so I will just say go when we get there, and let's get going. And go, all right. Uh, this is gonna start real quick. We gotta go places real fast. <laughs> it is Christmas 2005. We need vengeance and for our father. Void. And we're out of bounds. We're out of bounds. <laughs> uh, there are these guys here. We have auto aim, so we can just kind of spray around and it hurts all of them. And that's great. Five years have passed. We're going to be coming. <laughs> <laughs> well, like one that. blink of an eye, yep. man. One New York minute has passed. One New York minute has passed. <laughs> that was a control left click, control right click. That's control left click and right click. This is control shift, a direction, and left click. And this is just more control left clicking. Uh, the controls in this game cannot be rebound inside the program. Uh, so, you know, if you're trying to play this game without a numpad, good luck because you need numpad you plus in order to throw that guy. This early section, we're learning to be a police officer, and we're going to do exactly enough of the tests in order to get a passing grade. And once we've done enough of the test, we will go out of bounds and just go to the end, because that's called efficient test taking. If I saw my recruit clip out of bounds in their police test, I would just hand it to them. I'd be like, please don't do anything <laughs> that I wouldn't do. <laughs> just, uh, you've, you've clearly got this. You know what you're doing. Oh, yeah. Don't worry. Yeah, it, look, just give, just hand in the grenades. That's an important part of learning to uh, to be an officer. You won't see grenades for the rest of the run? <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, let's talk a little bit about going out of bounds. Uh, we go out of bounds by walking sideways into things. Typically, we either do that using uh, holding down auto-aim when there are no enemies around, or we're shooting our gun. So that was an example where I was just holding down auto-aim, and we went forward from there. And so now it is for a time for a driving tutorial where I'm going to turn on my sirens and drive to the end, and that will be enough to get me a passing grade. Because why would I do anything else while driving? Pretzel, do you think there's a giant, like, New York Police Department underground tunnel specifically for this purpose in New York City? What do you mean do I think? I mean, I know. Oh, do you know? <laughs> yeah. You do know, yes. That's why you're here. Yeah, it's like, um, it's how you, you know, the subway is what they tell you everyone sure. uses to get around. This is what they really use. I did oh. not know that, my friends. The other New York tunnel system. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Of course, perform pit maneuvers. You just don't have to. Just don't have to. You just you just don't, drive past. Just drive. Just keep going. Hit the bricks, you know? Uh, I do want to mention that I was sort of one of the later people to start running this game. And so I do want to give credit to F and Cat, who really laid the foundation for a lot of the tricks that you're going to see and also told me to Oh, the man, the uh, carriage, the baby <laughs> carriage. <laughs> you told you me PMC? you would not do that. You uh, told me you were well, done with violence. You know, that's, that's another thing about me. <laughs> you don't listen? I'm nonviolent except for that, all right? Oh, okay, <laughs> yeah. yeah, sure. Just that. Just that. Uh, we're supposed to learn how to put on clothes and get cars, but we do not have time for that, so we're just gonna pop yeah. out of bounds. We're walking here. And uh, we're walking over here, and there we go. We are, so this first part of the game is the intro section, and then there are gonna be four crime families, and then the finale after that. So we gotta learn a little bit more uh, classic 
classic thing here. We're going to drive with the camera facing the other direction. This is the same reason that they do it like this in you know, the early GTA games. It is to despawn traffic in front of me. Uh, and that's, that's pretty much it. You know, that's just the, the easy part yeah. of it. The game is modeled on like a semi-accurate version of Manhattan. So the streets are a grid. There are no cars in the streets. So it is actually pretty easy to right. drive without looking where you're going. That's what I do, because yep. I don't want to see death No, <laughs> it was too spooky. Right, exactly. Once you, once you learn the streets and where to turn, it's really easy to drive backwards like this. Yeah, You absolutely. could do it at home. <laughs> don't do it at home. Don't do it at home. Don't. PMC, is this the intersection that yes, uh, we talked is, about? Yes, this is uh, 38th and 9th, I think, okay, right? Okay, so this is real. I have worked on this corner before. Yeah. I have h held a job here. Um, I know all these guys. Yeah, was it at, was <laughs> yeah. it at this bar? That, that's Dave. Was there also uh, particular trash just what? swirling around okay. in a did vortex? You, did you ever have trouble putting hands on Dave? Come on, Dave. 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 I mean, Dave. I didn't. Okay. I don't know what you're... <laughs> this is good. I'm there happy you go. Where this All right. is going. Okay. No, no, no. This is fine. We're fine. Everything's fine here. We're arresting him for, uh, for that. Yeah. No, that was <laughs> for being too, a pain. Too much. Uh, so, you know, when you think of games that you use while you play, uh, you know, your favorite PC game, your favorite ones to think of are things like uh, Page Up to change oh, yeah. your gun and then Page Down to go back to your badge. You know, it's just the stuff that you like to do. Uh, and you have to use those yeah. when you're playing True Crime New York City. It, it should be stated that the point of this mission is to, like, it's your field test, basically. So this is proper police work we're doing here. And this guy is going to get away. So uh, we're going to do the right thing. Commandeer. Yeah, we're just going to steal a car. Yep. I want, you, I want you to pay close attention to this man that we're pursuing, because he, he's driven around the corner, and he's going to get out, and then he's going to close the door. The invisible door. The invisible that door. That is no longer there. Yeah. But good news, he uh, thinks that jaywalking is a crime. It's not a crime, so we got him now. He can't get around <laughs> us. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Perp arrested. We got him, Big folks. fan of that. All right, so we are almost done here. Uh, our, our mentor who is teaching us, we're going on like one last stakeout with him. He's like a week from retirement. Uh, and, you know, nothing's gonna nothing bad's going to happen. It's just a, a nice... A nice, pleasant drive. In fact, we could probably use a donation. Absolutely. I uh, just want to let everybody know we do have the uh, incentives open now for Pepsi Man to watch the cutscenes. And if you haven't seen the cutscenes for Pepsi Man, you need to see the cutscenes for Pepsi Man. Believe me on this one. We got a $100 donation from Magic School Bus that says, Seatbelts, everyone. Let's take a trip to those incentives. They want to see it, and I want to see it too. You want to see it too. Believe me. All right, we just did something important here. This is called the street crime skip. The last part of your field test is to stop a real crime that is actually happening, but instead of doing that, you can save and load the game, and then uh, you can just advance to the next storyline mission. I'm not exactly sure that why tracks. it works that way, but <laughs> it actually cuts out like the only real meaningful RNG that can actually like injure run. You can get crime that just crashes the game, I think. I've definitely yes. gone to like interiors where my game just closes. Oh, you <laughs> died! <laughs> the cab driver just dumps your body so in the street. That's, yeah, that's accurate. Sometimes cab drivers just kill you and dump your corpse at your destination <laughs> yeah. in this game. Confirmed. There you go. That I'm, is... just, I'm just here to just go confirm, confirm, confirm. Yep. Yeah. No, that's real. You just said you want to be taken there. You didn't have to be living when <laughs> you got there. So, Taxis are fast travel in this game. Much like if you play GTA 4, it's kind of a similar thing. You can see a random taxi. You can tell it to take you to a destination. We're always going to be telling the taxis to take us to the next mission. That's, you know, unsurprisingly much faster than driving. It allows us to go instantly. But, of course, that means that we need to get a taxi to spawn, which is not always consistent. It's why it's probably the main reason why you shouldn't speedrun this game. But here we are. No, there's a lot more. Main. <laughs> yeah. There's like more main reasons, actually. There's several main reasons. Okay, so let's do. Let's talk about shooting. And uh, again, reminder: there's an auto aim in this game. So when you see me lock on and just kind of wave around and people fall over, that's uh, that's because I'm moving my mouse ever so slightly and I just lock on to people. Oh, you do it slightly? Just I just like whip it, dude. You know, I go I mean, crazy with you gotta, it. You got to really. Feel I'm a it. maniac. I'm gonna try to pick up this rifle. There's a chance it could just fall through. Oh, you actually got it. Wow. Very good. Do we Impressive. still need the mouse with like over 8,000 DPI? N so, okay, really cursed information uh, new for, for GDQ is that I installed this game on Windows 11 for the first time. 
And, and the second time and the third time. And it works better on Windows 11 than it did on Windows 10. What? Which is haunted. I don't know why it's like that, and I don't want to know. I think that should be like one of the main features advertised for Windows 11. You can, can play, play through yeah. this game. City. <laughs> it is easier because on Windows 10, you would have to adjust the mouse. Either you'd have to drop the polling rate or you'd have to increase the DPI in order to get the mouse to work correctly. But on Windows 11, true crime in New York City, <laughs> the mouse just works. So I think it's good to bring this up at this point. We're about eight and a half minutes into the run. And Damn. if you at home and behind me have noticed, we have heard no actual human utterances at any point. It's been like a totally silent game. No one has said anything. No one's even like grunted. And that's because you could save about eight minutes from dialogue just by turning voice volume to 0%. It actually doesn't like mute the lines. It just skips right through them. And uh, so that'll be very important for, uh, the, here's a good demonstration here yeah. actually. Uh, PMC has just shot this guy, knocked him over. He's gonna shoot him in the kneecap, which gives him good cop points. Um, and now he's gonna <laughs> interrogate him. And actually, he's gonna beat up the chat room right now. <laughs> Please donate to MSF. <laughs> Do it right now. These are convincing interrogation methods. Um, so yeah, you notice there, that just kind of happened really quickly. Normally, there's three stages to that. The first stage, you'd, you'd beat them up, be like, oh, I'm not going to tell you. The second time, you'd be like, I'm still not going to tell you. And the third time, be like, all right, this is where my boss lives. Let me go. And then you arrest them. Except you st he just, they don't tell you that because the line is skipped. Right. But, right. Yeah. So you just beat them up, and you just go and bother somebody else, actually. <laughs> yeah. Canonically, that's um, what happens with no And I will say fire. that New Yorkers, in my experience, love to skip dialogue. So. True. Yeah. No, that's, yeah. that's true. <laughs> you just look at each other, and things just happen. Yeah. I don't know what's next, man. Well, we're, watched... go we're going to a safe house. All right, thank yeah, you. Yeah, it's a safe house. Nothing bad's going to happen here. I'm definitely not going to immediately go out of bounds. clip out of the wall <laughs> and break the sequence. Uh, there's supposed to be a sequence that closes a bunch of doors, but because we are going around some of those particular thresholds, we're just going to run around. You know, some of you might be watching this and wondering, why is he running around shooting uh, aimlessly? And it's because when you shoot indoors, it causes you to enter a run and gun state. You move faster in the state, and your basic pistol has infinite ammo. So there is no reason not to just constantly shoot and run everywhere when you're indoors. If you were hearing a fly right in your ears, that was the game. Don't worry. You're that is also the first time I've heard that fly. Uh, yeah, I, yeah, I don't know. I've been watching them play without audio, so I was yeah. just like, wait a minute. That does happen. Yeah, I've got my little laptop speakers, my dinky little laptop speakers. Oh, yeah, they're, yeah. Not, they're not fly fidelity level. So uh, like the nice objective headsets. here... Just shoot all the letters, and that falls down. And uh, now we're going to do the same very convincing interrogation here. That was supposed to be a boss battle, by the way, but we're just kind of done. Yeah. Arrest. And on to the next one. <laughs> and then pull out your gun and yep. just shoot your way to the door. There's too much crime <laughs> to solve. So we just got to keep rolling. We got to keep moving. There is no end of it. Yeah, and then again, that's the sequence here is that we are often interrogating someone at the end of a mission who tells us where the next criminal is. And we're working our way up through these different crime families. The game always makes us start with the Magdalena cartel, which is the one we're working through right now. We'll have some choices about which ones we do after that. But the, yeah, the game always puts you straight into Magdalena cartel coming out of the intro of the game. If you have questions about lore, I cannot help yeah, you. Yeah. I've never played this game with voice volume on. Yeah, that is haunted and cursed information <laughs> yep. that um, I had to suffer through voice volume because I was, in fact, the individual Living in that, the dark ages. Uh, yeah, that, that made this happen. So now PMC, as soon as he saw voice volume go to zero, he's rubbing his hands. He's like, I'm next, brother. <laughs> Put me in, coach. I mean, we're just running and gunning through a museum. Don't worry about it. Yeah, pay close attention to the elevator here. Uh, the Aztec Chief Tans. Uh, they they yeah. missed one there. If you're, in, if you're in New York and you see something like this going on, you just don't say anything. You just keep minding your business. This is a normal yeah. New York thing, too. Yeah. All right, we're going to pick up a 50 here. 50 is a one-shot kill weapon, and that allows us to get over to this interrogation sooner. And then we can enjoy some fresh carbonated sugar. That's good. Should have replaced the texture with Red Bull, man. <laughs> Get the real GDQ experience. Mm -hmm. The game is going to try to tutorialize me about a thing called tasks. I'm going to say no. 
there is so much to this game that we actually don't engage with. I learned today this game has car dealerships. <laughs> what? I did not know that. I didn't know that. Right. I, I, it's cursed, <laughs> haunted information that now occupies space in my brain. Um, speaking of cursed and haunted. Yeah, speaking of cursed and haunted, uh, we get to go to this location where uh, we're going to uh, get into a brawl, uh, and then some. <laughs> and then things will only get better from there. I Why are promise. we here? I can't tell you. Can't um, really we're just here now, and yeah. we have to get out. That's well, you all know we know. Fun? <laughs> I always go back. Like recently, when PMC has been practicing on his stream, I've been watching, and one guy in his chat. Uh, speaks up one day and goes like, every time I look away from the screen and look back, it's something entirely different. <laughs> and it's true. Yep. We were just in a museum. Now we're in uh, an asylum. And uh, important things are about to happen here. PMC is going to clip it back in bounds, beat this guy up who is probably scared out of his mind at what just happened. Just trying to do his job. We're going to you know? grab a syringe and he's actually going to need some quiet time here. <laughs> if you were listening, that man just loaded a Windows noise into his shotgun. And then I That's just that's just what they sound like there. Yep. That was what the quiet it's, time it's, was for, yeah. folks. Yeah. We needed to hear it. It's just regional differences, you know. It did. All right, so here we need a fast car because the game will <laughs> fail. <laughs> <laughs> we'll fail us if we don't, uh, you know, if we, if we try to get in a taxi and we're going to drive to our destination, which means it is an excellent time for some donations. Oh, there's a lot of love coming in for you. We got a $5 donation from Ganbare that says, Hey, a PMC, had to donate during your block. Thank you for always putting up with me in chat and laughing at my really dumb jokes. It means the world to me every time. Also, hi, Dangerous. Thanks for always having luxurious hair. Oh, well, you're very welcome. Uh, we got time for more? Yeah, keep going. Oh, yeah. We got a $50 donation from Knight of Knee that says, Silly Block Shenanigans. Uh, we also got a $50 donation from Omax that says, Is that G-Savior World Record Holder PMC Trilogy running <laughs> true crime New York? No way! Get this man a hot dog or a bagel or a black and white cookie or something. Donation goes to Runner's Choice. Awesome, thank you. Yeah, we got probably one more. Yeah, we got a $42 donation from B. Ebdrup that says, Hello, PMC Trilogy, Musical Daredevil, and other speed friends. Please remember to Pepsi and Berg and stay away from stairs. Also, I do need to see the Pepsi Man cutscenes. <laughs> <laughs> so there, I just clipped out of bounds. I did an attacking animation while falling out of bounds, which allowed me to avoid, avoid, avoid fall damage. And now I'm killing the boss of the level. The first thing I'm doing is I'm going straight to this boat. I, we all know that boats in video games have never been fun. So we have to go straight to the boat and destroy it one one handgun bullet at a time. Give it the true Siletta Beretta treatment. And once we blow up this tank, the boss is dead, but we need to actually activate the sequence that allows the boss to die. And that means that we're going to go into the stage briefly and then go here. I said before we had auto-aim, and I really, really did mean it. Every time you see plus three career pop up, someone has died. Yeah, dude. <laughs> career points, that's how you get them. That's how you know that you've, you've just shot someone through the floor. And then once the, we get the music changed, we know that we've been able to finish up the level. Yeah, that's when, that's when the, uh, the, the dead boss bursts through onto the scene, already exploded and in pieces. And that's the end of the Magdalena cartel like case. And the next one he's going to do is the Palermo mob. Um, and the first thing we do, hop in a taxi, go to the Mob Restaurant. The Mob Restaurant has one of the greatest restaurant names of all time. I'm going to leave you in suspense for this one. I don't, oh, do we, do we have a good it? shot of it? We, you, we just... only really see it on the way out. Okay, you know, on the way right, out, you're going to have to wait. Yeah. But we're at a restaurant, and of course we know what restaurants have. Chefs, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. I've heard y'all like some chefs. Are there any, any uh, fans of chefs in here? <laughs> the thing is, in New York He's City... He's running to go get the chefs. Yeah, He's a big yeah, fan. He wants yeah. to meet them. You know... In New York City, we're not as a def de you know, deferent to chefs as we are here. All right. That's a chef right there. He's going to have to chill out. Yep. Yeah. Yes, chef, you're under arrest. Yep. Oh, no, I accidentally arrested someone. That's unfortunate. That's, that wastes time. You don't want to yeah, do that. No. All right, come on. Oh, <laughs> the, sir, sir. He's using the cleaver. Sir. <laughs> wow, he's just going for it. 
This is what happens to you when you make uh, onion, 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 pepper, pepper, carrot soup, guys. I think that this chef has like a, a <laughs> this chef has a stat boost because of the meme. I think. Mm, yeah, it could be. Could be. This is um, budget Tony Soprano. There you go. <laughs> That's his weakness, a pizza shovel to the face. Good old pizza shovel. <laughs> yep. Definitely not called anything else. <laughs> this is what I just assume is happening in the back of any pizzeria that I get a pizza. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of dark. <laughs> That's how, how the sausage is made. Very how the good. pepperoni is mm -hmm. All right, what's the name of the restaurant? The name of the restaurant is, of course, the Italian. <laughs> <laughs> Classic three star Michelin. Yeah, I've heard. You've been, you've been, you love it. You just, yep. You know, it's the only place you want to go to. All right, now this next place I've been dying to go to. That's the mortuary, of course. No, that's my, oh, come on. that's my second stop. <laughs> <laughs> All right, like, what's the time on that? What's the uh, the, the, the pun percent uh, speed run mm -hmm. completed? All right. Now the good news though is that this level does in fact go by pretty quick. Because all I'm going to do is immediately just start going to my right while shooting, and then this will allow me to fall down. I've, don't worry, I've got blood in my feet. I'm fine. <laughs> and once again, clip out over here, and this is pretty much the, uh, yeah, there you go. Follow the water, and there's the door, and that's it. Another, another excellent level. All right, this is a... Uh... Yes, indeed. This one is an all-time classic. If this is, if you're Casey Fru, this is where you check the trunk and fail the mission because the guy gets away in the time you're looking in your trunk for God knows what. Um, but basically, there was someone in the mortuary. Don't ask me who. He's getting away. He's in a truck. PMC is chasing Mort. him down right now. Let's Watch the pit maneuver. Let's call him Mort. There it is. There it is. That's a pit maneuver. Oh, nice. Ends up in a, in a 1080. That truck Tony spins Hulk's real style. fast. Indeed. But, uh, I can't uh, tell you what's happening, buddy. What? Good luck. Oh. We got him. Okay. Is he out? Okay, he's All out. Right. <laughs> go get your good really, cop points. Uh, there you there go. We go. Shooting in the kneecaps is actually really difficult because the controls in this game, not great. Yeah, it's that like sequence where he's slow-mo aiming is, um, it, it, anything could happen, really. Mostly, I just uh, miss. That's what happens when uh, I yeah. try to do. I whiff all the to PMC yep. demonstrating impressive control here over a game that really does not want control at all. Why am I on a car? That's awesome. <laughs> what? <laughs> all right. That's not supposed to happen. I don't. Okay. That's all right. Don't worry about we, let's, let's take a break. Let's go to the gym. Let's work out and do things that people do at gyms. It's going to be fine. First, we're going to lift some weights. Yeah, we're going to lift some weights. I think she needs a weight. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I think that sets off the lunk alarm no? in Planet Fitness. Come on now. I think this is fine. He needs a weight too. All right, that's good. This mission can break in many different ways, and I'm <laughs> like that. Ooh, that's really good. Taste. <laughs> it's fine. Don't worry. All right, now we're so, going to okay. do some rock climbing. Sometimes your camera can actually just be stuck in this position, and I'm really hoping that happens. Okay. No, I'm dude. Good. I'm good. Uh, okay. Now we got hurdles because who does who doesn't do hurdles at the gym? You know. Sometimes she can get stuck on the inside of the track as well. Um, for some reason, we just chase her around a couple of times, and then she just gives up, bro. It's just like, all right, you got me. You've demonstrated <laughs> impressive physique, and um, you know, a little bit of stretching after your workout is important. And then we got to exit out, still jump over the hurdles, of course. And there we go, nice workout, right? I'm Good feeling workout. much better about things now, looser, yes, yeah, thank you. Absolutely. We all know mobs are just a series of front businesses, so we're working our way through the front businesses right now, and that means, what's next? Taxes. Uh, taxes are unavoidable. What's the name of this place again? Uh, Is it something funny? I think funny? it's like Easy Mortgage and Loan, I want to say. Oh, that's boring. Yeah. 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 Wow. Yep. I've oh, played man. this game too much. That That is, yeah. <laughs> you should not have that in your brain, sir. Anyway. That usual, is a usual. infiltration usual. confirmed. Yes. Yeah, this is an infiltration. We have done it. We have gone out. We do have to jump up into the elevator. You, you can activate the elevator only half clipped in, but it will cause the game to soft lock. So, you know, don't, yeah. don't do that. Be all the way in the elevator when you use the elevator. It's always good advice. That applies to here as well at Games yes. on Quick. Yeah, reminder, of course, we have auto aim. Uh, so whenever every time you see plus three career, someone has died. And I need to kill four people in here. And then we get to do our interrogation. Hey, Tony, how's it going? Okay, there we go. I feel real bad for Tony. Yeah, I mean, 
Look, it's probably difficult for Tony. You think you're hiding in the corner of a room, and then suddenly... Someone just bursts through the wall. Yeah, just, just appears. Yeah, that's how they get just you. Just right there. It is how they get you. Absolutely. Okay, one more tax. It is always getting more taxis. This is the this is the rhythm of this game. I also feel like this uh like this is the type of New York assertiveness you need to hail a taxi is mm. to just run dead down a one way <laughs> street. Run. Taxi, taxi. <laughs> you see that all the time, I'm sure. Yeah. And like there goes another one. All right, so we are on to the finale mission of the Palermo mob, uh, Vertigo. This is this is probably one of the more dangerous missions. This one can really. Really mess up your run. It's one of the longer ones. One too. of the longer yep. ones too. We have a few tricks that we're, that's gonna that are gonna let us uh, avoid enemy spawns. This one in particular is weird. Very perilous. I can fall down, and and you know it's easy to fall down there because I'm trying to clip through a wall while also jumping over a gap. Uh, same thing here. I'm gonna enter enter run and gun and try to do a gun dive over that. And that so, is specifically to avoid enemy spawns. That as specifically well. avoids another set of enemy spawns. So we're just kind of reducing enemy spawns. Is that a shotgun? No, that's no gun. No gun this no gun. time. Yeah, that, that has never happened. So you have a shotgun here. Awesome. Awesome. Uh, You'd love so to see it. Shotguns in this game are very deadly in the hands of everyone except you. Uh, well, actually, this is working out not too bad. If yeah. it's the full auto shotgun, you'd have no ammo at this point and have only, like, murked two dudes. Yep. So, semi auto is actually still pretty okay. Semi auto is okay. Tackle shotgun's not bad, but really, you want an assault rifle of some flavor, generally. Because this level is pretty long, and you got lots of enemies, and you can run out of ammo if you don't get good weapon spawns. And that's yeah, happened to me. Dude. All right, Definitely. this is this is the uh, the Tapioca Memorial Elevator. He once flipped out of here and softboxed the game. I salute yeah. you, Tap. Still the only one to do that on video. It's true. I didn't even know it was possible. I wouldn't even think to do it. Indeed. Uh, same rules apply here. We're going to be shooting. We're going to be locking the enemies through the floor, uh, and using that to shoot them. We also get to do a few other fun kills. Get to shoot that. <laughs> <laughs> that man falls down. Uh, there's a few other ones. There, there are like little explosives that we can shoot, uh, so we can get some like two for ones. If an enemy is standing on something that then collapses, that is something that we can use. Like, we can take advantage of that because they will instantly die. So you're good. That's an example of that. And then the same thing is going to apply up here because on this particular one, there will be a little green canister that I can shoot, and I'll take out both of those guys. Then I take out the guy on the left, and it gives me time to shoot. Oh, I missed it. Uh, let's give me time to shoot this guy. You've just memorized it all, man. I yeah, I said yeah. Oh, there you go. I just like shot it from above. Explaining each floor of this auto scroller right? in detail. That's 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 look. I'm giving the people what they want. Yeah. Okay. It's important. PMC trilogy. Uh, he is the uh, menace of many mecha anime boards, <laughs> and also this one. <laughs> Because that has transferable skill, I suppose. Uh, yeah, it's just, look, it's all the same, really. It just elevates the performance. It's all games. They yeah, were just waiting. The final boss is uh, a guy in a crane who is uh, doing some things that OSHA would not approve of. Mm -hmm. He's going to attack us with his powerful crane technique. So um, this is a like semi-random. Sometimes. What we're really looking for is for him to not lower it like that. Perfect. Because now you got to jump over it, which is a little more perilous than having to crouch underneath it. So he at least... Oh, no, oh, no, 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 yeah. no, 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 okay. no, 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 dude. <laughs> that was a real close call. Sorry. I'm sure I really <laughs> added to your, uh, to your calm disposition by screaming no in your ears several times. But if he had fallen there, we would have been doing that all yep. over again. There are no min mission checkpoints or anything like that. That entire auto scroller. Yep. Um, are, you so. are you awake now? <laughs> Man. <laughs> I Come was saying myself like four years ago the last time I did that one. Yeah, we're looking for a taxi now. Just looking taxi. for a taxi. We, uh, so that was now. the last mission uh. of the Palermo mob. We're out now onto the Shadow Tong. This is done second. There we go. Finally, we were able, able to get on. Yeah, so now we're onto the Shadow Tong. Shadow Tong, uh, you know, they're down, they're down in Chinatown. And we're, you know, when you think of trying to get into a Tong syndicate in Chinatown, the first place you go to is your Motorola branded church. <laughs> that is uh, that is run yeah, by goths. That is really yes. where you want to go because you're going to need to defeat yeah. those goths. Reach out. The MC was not kidding about the goths. The goths are here. This you is have, you yeah. have to defeat them. 
This is the most unrealistic part of the game because New York City gods cannot be defeated. Oh, really <laughs> oh. Respect. That, that Respect. clip can be kind of difficult because you have to do it really fast and there are lots of enemies attacking you. Yeah, yeah. so the setup here is that either I'm, I'm going to get tackled and that's going to let me roll out of bounds. So this should... Yeah, there, there we, we go. go. There's supposed to be three waves of enemies. The boss of the third wave is this man who is just standing out of bounds for some reason. So we're going to punch this man and when he ends, the, it's going to end the level. This woman's going to rise up. Or through the Run coffin. Out. She never, I've <laughs> always only ever seen her like clip through the coffin. Oh, yeah. She's never like properly made it out. Um, so, yeah. And then we're on to our first of two rail shooters. Uh, the rules are Please. simple for these. We're mostly just trying not to die. We're trying to make sure cars don't crash into us. And that's pretty much it. I'll be aiming to do a few things like create chain explosions where shooting a car in front will take out a car behind Yeah, dude, that just yeah. happens. Like, the game actually does try to keep normal car traffic away from you, so sometimes they'll just do a hard 180. But that guy just looked like he got deleted. That man was deleted. That man was deleted. Uh, but other than that, this is really an excellent time for probably about uh, probably about two minutes of donations. You betcha. I just, I, my face is hurting from laughing at the, at the gym sequence. I just have to point that out. Uh, we got a $1,000 donation from the Mongoose. They said, I am so glad I could catch PMC live and having Dangerous as host with this legendary couch is an amazing bonus. I hope nobody gets stuck in doors when trying to leave and the last boss doesn't go brrrr. We also got a $5 donation from Shady Kit that says, after that kitchen massacre, looks like you're the chef now. Yes, chef! Oh. <laughs> We got a $15 donation here from the Kipper system that says, Hey, Fretzel, and others, I guess. It's your friend's Kipper from the <laughs> 2.0 server. Just wanted to let you know that we managed to get up at this hour to watch the stream. It gives us the funnies. Good job being funny, man. Smiley face. Excellent. $30 comes in from Wind Bliss. They said, Hello, morning fam. Starting the day with everyone's favorite block, Awful Block. I think they mean silly block. Hope everyone is keeping it silly. This was normally going to be a $10 donation, but I have to slap an extra $20 for Culex's no miss during Dan Gun Fever on. But what's this? Chef, we need donations for the Pepsi Man cutscenes, Chef. Thank you, Chef. Cat Dragon says trans rights. Uh, $15 comes in from Tanfu. They said, Awesome run, guys. Real police work right there. Yes, I'm yeah. looking at it right now. Yes. Uh, we also got a $50 <laughs> yeah, donation here we from go. Sorry. Sorry. Nice. <laughs> that says, did I hear there's an incentive to view all Pepsi Man cutscenes? Let's make that happen. Let's go. Yeah, and we are uh, about $1,700 in out of $8,000, so we need about $6,300 left to make that Pepsi Man cutscene incentive get met. So let's make that happen, chat. We can do it. Fretzel, are there any ramps? on the uh, the streets of New York. Ramps. Yeah, ramps, that you get ramps. sick air on. Yeah, all the time. Okay. What Why the are the cops here too, dude? I, they just want to get in right? on the fun. I think those are goths in cop cars. That's, that's okay. great. That's, that makes sense. Mm. Yeah. Yes. I can see why you'd say they're undefeated. Mm -hmm. So you can see the limousine was smoking. Your health on that sequence is really, really tight. I have failed right at the finish line of that sequence before just because that limousine does not have a lot of health for that whole thing. Yeah, it's a real stretch. PMC is built different, though. He, oh, buddy. <laughs> buddy. Um, that's the kind, that type of crowd we got? All right. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, man. Oh, feeling good after that one. All right. I hope you just, uh, I hope it takes a while to get a taxi, sir. <laughs> no. well. We'll get on next time. Penalty. What's next? Hard sell. Ah, uh, that's it. Yeah, no, Hard Cell is a uh, mission with some history, actually. Yeah, it's, this is, uh, used to be one of the worst missions in the game because it would require like 10 minutes of driving a truck. It's just not fun yeah. at all. It's not something you want to be doing. Look at the timer in the top left here. It's, the game just is like, yeah, 15 minutes, bro. We're just going to drive us around for 15 minutes. So um, the, f the, the idea, yeah, is you drive to a location, you interrogate a shopkeep, and then you get back in your truck and you go to the next one and you terrorize about three honest, good salespeople before you pass the mission. Um, now that's very slow and it requires a lot of driving. So I was trying to find a way to break out of that. I eventually figured it out that if you fail the mission, you get to either retry the mission or visit informant. And if you visit informant, it actually warps you to the next mission 
for some reason. I think because the next mission giver is classified as an informant, but it's just a little confusing. So what he's going to do here, he's just going to hold a gun to this man's head, fail the uh, interrogation, and blow his truck up. And so that's going to be the fastest way to get to this menu. And now we're just at the next mission, dude. Here we are. We're going to punch some couches and go out of bounds. Yeah. That's what we're doing. Very important. If you punch that couch a second time, it will crash the game. We did test it in the practice room. It does crash yeah, the game. Yeah, I thought it was creating a false memory, but no. All, All right. right. So uh, he punched his way out of bounds, and uh, there's a surprise here. Yeah, you can't trust anyone in this game. Not even yourself. And when I said <laughs> trust not yourself, I meant yourself, because we just planted evidence on ourselves and then arrested ourselves. Harp arrested. Good job. Good job. You got him. True, honest, objective police work. <laughs> that's crash for me too, dude. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, that's crash for me as well. Windows 11. <laughs> so we are here at our informant, and there are now enemies here. Yeah, um, here's some really good auto-aim. Everybody in Ooh. this room has been dealt with. And uh, here's our informant here, our good friend Lynn. That we would like to get informed very forcefully. There you awesome. go. I'm sure you are all noticing a pattern at home here. Mm -hmm. Day in the life of a cop is actually quite monotonous. Just standard stuff. Beats desk work, I guess. Now it is time for what I would call, if, if, if you were to learn to speed run this game, I think many people would find this to be the most difficult mission in the game. Ah, uh, this one. Yes, human cargo. So difficult, it's not even near the street. We have to actually take, the, take yes. the taxi that we rode in on in order to get to the start of it. Thank you, taxi driver. I'd like your taxi now because apparently you can't drive it here. Oh, now is a great time to mention that I'm going to donate for how many bad cop points I get at the end. I'm going to check it and that, I will make that donation at some time later. <laughs> It could be anywhere between like 35 and 100, we'll see. The range is quite wide. So human cargo is pretty particular. That jump right there. That jump is quite difficult. You gotta jump around a corner. Here you gotta activate a switch to move a cargo uh, container. Did you actually get it? I don't no, think I didn't so. get it, I didn't get it. Uh, a man with a sledgehammer has a few things to say about what you're doing. I'm trying to arrest you, turn the table. Man, you are getting- I'm getting hope. You're getting slammed, this, this brother. Dude, <laughs> Whatever. Go, there we just go. Leave me alone. Get them out of here. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> All right. Very good. Probably more of that to come. Uh, so this this uh, gentleman here with the question mark over his head is who are we are after, but we cannot interact with him uh, during the sequence. So the idea is you're supposed to chase him around this dry dock, but we can actually get a little bit ahead of him by cutting some corners, as you can see, and get on some ladders ahead of him. And you have to time this just right, otherwise he either doesn't get on the ladder or gets on it before you and pulls it up. And sometimes it can soft lock. Let's see. That is, yeah, it doesn't look like he got on there. We can still save this. We can still save this. I think I got it. Uh, I got yes, it. Yeah. there yeah, we go. Okay. That's, that's hard, that's hard. That's very hard. Uh, getting, getting this done all the way correctly is quite difficult, so I'm glad to see that. Um, and now we still can't interrogate him because we have a few more things to do in this mission. Um, we're going to encounter a boss that, if you play the scam on the Xbox, made you very sad uh, because he was very difficult to beat. Uh, we're going to try and press the switch twice, but of course, more sledgehammers are coming out. That's really so we're going to try and duck and weave them. Uh, if PMC actually missed the second ladder, and had to go uh, do a backup strat, there would be like way more dudes here. I'm talking at least eight. It's ridiculous. But uh, thankfully, he's just built different and it's not a problem. Um, this yeah. is Tommy. Yeah, if you were playing the Xbox version of this game, it is uh, very, very difficult to finish this because they launched the Xbox version with a bug. Thankfully, we're playing the PC port, so we do not have quite that issue. But the, there's a final input that you need to make in order to win this uh, wrestling mini game, and I'm gonna have no problem doing it as soon as it appears. You're right, numpad plus. Everyone has numpad plus. You just press it right away, and throw them right off. But if you're playing on Xbox, good luck with that. No numpad plus on Xbox. No. Well, not only that, but the timing window is like at least frame perfect. All right. Anyway, he tries to escape. We have a few things to say about that. So this seems to be like a. This is a. 2005 um, 
rendering of New York City. Yes. That seems to be a warehouse area. I feel like in 2023, that has probably become like an organic wood-fired mm -hmm. pizzeria. Or like that. <laughs> no, that's probably right. Sometimes, you know, sometimes places change their, their identity over time. I think this is uh, something that we all, we all observe. All right. We did a save and load just to get back to the streets quicker. Now, um, we, have, we have a very exciting thing coming up here. This is, this is going to be a world premiere. For you had, a, you had a bit of an unfortunate encounter with this stage previously. The world just flashes Ooh. sometimes, guys. Yeah. And so um. now I'm really, really delighted to introduce the KZ oh. Fruit Memorial. <laughs> <laughs> Why is my face all over this place? Dude? There I am. Look at me. I am so handsome, guys. I'm mean, just so handsome. Um, <laughs> So uh, shout out to Grove Spaz oh, for actually just deciding to write texture <laughs> replacement tools for this game. Something nobody asked for, uh, honestly. But yeah, when I did this run at ESA, <laughs> I just dove straight into the pits of the crime cavern, and um, people just don't let me forget this. Yeah, I, I... And this is perhaps the furthest we've gone with this joke. <laughs> we have perhaps taken it to an extreme here. <laughs> but, you know, it's good. I, I'm, I'm happy with this. Uh, Sometimes you just have to face why? the Why? Look at that one! <laughs> <laughs> to be clear, Grove chose the emotes, not me. That doesn't make it any better. <laughs> Thank you, Grove. Yeah. Much appreciated. He's been a legend through and through. Uh, he likes to stare into the void along with us, and uh, it can't be understated the contributions that some people have made to games that, frankly, do not deserve it, but um, the siren's call is just too strong. So this level was pretty standard. Shoot and, uh, shoot and move forward, you got some zip lines. Uh, the ladders, you could climb especially fast if you shoot before getting on them. Uh, you can actually get quite slow animations on the ladders, which will lose you so much time. Um, here's Leland. The strat with this is what he's doing right now is just punch looping them. It's heavy punch, right? Yep. Just heavy punch, and then you wait a beat, and then you heavy punch them again. Because if you don't wait, you do a combo, and that actually breaks the loop. You want to get the one, the one, the one, the one over and over. So you'll see him do that uh, a number of times with a few enemies. Now we have a scrolling sequence, basically, where we're just climbing up this wall and there are crates coming down. Homie's throwing boxes of, like, priceless artifacts at you, and uh, we're just ducking and weaving them like nobody's business. This is the more accurate representation of climbing gyms in New York City. The previous climbing gym was less, less so. Mm. I understand. That, that was the fancy climbing gym. This one is yeah. the more regular one. Yeah, the, the common man's climbing gym. So I, sh I should note that if you climb too far on, on the left, you might notice I'm like stick like sticking to the right side. If you go too far to the left, it can affect his padding AI, and it can cause him to just fall off the pipe. And if he falls off and dies, then you fail the mission. Yeah. So that's one of the reasons I'm sticking to the right side of the climbing wall. Yeah, we're trying to arrest him, not kill him, because we are going to get the good cop ending. There are two endings, good cop ending and surprise bad cop ending. They're almost practically identical. Bad Cop ending adds an extra fight um, that I've never beaten. Uh, PMC has never gotten the Bad Cop ending because he's just an upstanding member of society. Isn't that right, my friend? That's correct. Yes, indeed. Um, so there is a fun glitch that can happen here. It unfortunately did not happen. I'm very sad about it, but um, there's something known as the infinite box glitch on particularly, I think, this yep, climb. Yeah, it always occurs on this climb. Yeah, it only occurs on the third climb, and it's where he just throws box after box after box, and you can dodge them, but... It just really elongates your climb up because you spend so much time moving left and right. Um, and then when you get to the top, there's like a horrifying noise of like boxes colliding yeah. inside of boxes, which would have been great to show off. But unfortunately, <laughs> the game did not break. Game's just running too well. Game's running yeah. too yeah. well. That's Windows 11 for you. Yeah, Windows 11. Um, so we're punch looping him again on the subway here. You do have to dodge the subway. I'm sure that's normal in New York. Oh, yeah. So uh, he was staying away from him because he does a wake-up attack when he gets uh, back from knocking down, but just uh, two sequences of heavy combo punch looping. Here comes the subway. We're good. Easy. We're going to throw him out of the tracks. And uh, I'm sure only good things happen. You can fill in the here. blanks there. Right, yeah. Use your imagination. See, you thought this game was wild. You thought it was off the rails, but you were wrong. Yeah. Watch that taxi go. Watch, Watch that one go. Yes. Yes, there is karma. 
There are the cars. Oh, no, there it goes. No, 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 there it goes, no, no, no. buddy. <laughs> come on. Come on. Come on. We got to get one. We got to get one. Where, where are all the taxis? <laughs> My kingdom for a taxi. Please. All right. Here we go. There we go. Uh oh, stolen police cruiser. No, we're, we're, we're we don't here. care about we those. We don't care about that. When you stay in the overworld for too long, you get random crime alerts, and um, we don't care. <laughs> Sometimes they're funny. Yeah, thanks, thanks to Motorola uh, for it's been resolved sponsoring See? another another place for uh, us yeah. to go to. This drug den is sponsored by Motorola. So this is the President's Club. This is the last of the four crime families. Uh, that previous boss fight resolved the Shadow Tongue. So now we're on to the final major crime family, President's Club which is uh, headed by a bunch of people who are named after people who are not presidents. Like, like Franklin. I don't know why it's like <laughs> He that. Lincoln. Link you, well, I mean, that one, you know, that's fine. This man's going to drop a 50, which, of course, we want in order to take care of the people in this room. 50s uh, pretty much are one-shots. Yeah, they just take off yeah, the whole leg. Oh, man. Yeah. <laughs> Grizzly. <laughs> I know. You thought you would try to disarm them, but then we just took the leg off. All right, more good cop points incoming. Oh, that did not. Oh, not that time. Not that time. See, it was blue and it didn't work. Yeah. Oh, there we go. There we go. Now, you think I might like this game a lot, but right here is the biggest fan of this game. Can I leave? <laughs> <laughs> Can I just uh, leave? I'm hearing some boos and some applause, and it's a really good... Yeah, it could be the same person doing both. You don't know. <laughs> oh, that's... Um, that, that, would be, that would be the most correct. I can confirm I'm doing both at the same time. <laughs> yeah. All right, thank you. Thank you. Oh, All right. Vital. So we've arrested President Lincoln, and uh, now I leave. There's some interesting. I, I think people regard this as maybe the most difficult of the cases. Yeah, of the crime families, I think this one has some of the just because there's well, you know a lot of enemies. They often have good weapons. Uh, just sort of makes things uh, you know very can be very challenging, especially for someone new to the game. I don't know why, but that particular intersection, it's really hard for me to get taxis. Yeah, yeah, that's a, yeah. no, that's a hard intersection. <laughs> no, you're, you're not alone. There are definitely some that just feel like taxi droughts, and that's one of them. Um, this is Club Ted Al, um, which. If you actually played this game with voice volume on, you would hear Christopher Walken say it in a very funny voice. They're, they spent a lot of money on the talent for this game. Christopher Walken, Lawrence Fishburne um, voiced this game. PMC's never heard their voice lines, of course, because he's a complete menace. Um, anyway, you're supposed to go slowly under lasers here, whatever that means, but of course there's no lasers out of bounds. There it is, go slowly under lasers. Whatever that means. I've never done that. Never, I have never no. gone slowly under lasers. I, I tried to play this game casually, and that lasted for about three hours before I was just like, <laughs> you know what? Um, we're just going to break it. All right. We are almost to the next of the rail shooter sequences. This I kind of consider the, the more important of the two rail shooter sequences. It introduces what I consider to be the game's anthem, uh, in which you are no longer in Twitch chat, but you find yourself in a more dangerous place called Homicide Chat. <laughs> Finally gonna cue that in. Uh, this is pretty much the same deal as last time. I'm gonna encounter lots of motorcycles that I'm gonna attempt to use to destroy dump trucks. And that's gonna be the next two minutes. So, Mr. Dangerous, uh, take it away. Speaking of dangerous. I have got plenty. We've got a $25 donation from Archie that says, bold of Benjamin to sit in convenient defeating distance. Good luck, <laughs> adding $10 for every mega jump. Ooh. This is talking about me. Yeah. Okay. $10 comes in from Tempe Strahl that says, Hey, is that Ed Helms? Oh, uh, yeah, that's <laughs> a classic with Helms. <laughs> Have Everybody fun with the run, PMC. That one doesn't count. Uh, $25, $25 comes in from Yelsreich that says, Had to be up for my friend PMC. Is it just me, or does everyone else say, Oh, yeah, in their head every time he clips through the wall to destroy someone? Just me? <laughs> okay, got it. For now. $25 come in, comes in from Ferron that says, Good morning, PMC. I have a very important question for you. Shall we Gundam? Yes, 100%. $5 comes in from Gil Bates. That's a great name, by the way. With the comment, Thrilled okay. to see a game that highlights the true power of Windows 11. Remember to update your computer today or experience the thrills of true crime New York. We got some friends with us. They might be here for a while. Self-driving motorcycles. Yeah. That happens in Vice City, too. So what happens there, just to fill in real quick before I let Dane do some Ooh, more, thanks, is Carl. that when you cause a chain reaction explosion, the explosion will kill the driver, but it doesn't them. necessarily kill the vehicle. 
And so this is a little abnormal. This is a lot. This yeah, is you usually don't have three of these falling. Oh, That's oh my face cycle. completely gone. Elon's America. Yeah. So just... <laughs> yeah. That's a good one. So what happened there is the motorcycles will continue going without the drivers, even if an explosion kills the driver. Uh, but trucks are not the same. If you blow up a truck, that's it. It's, it'll just stop. But the motorcycles, however they're programmed, the motorcycles will continue rolling. But anyway, we got plenty more time for donations. I've got plenty here. Uh, Archie sent in another $25 and said, you know what? Take another 25 just for the Fru Memorial Cavern. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, $33.60 comes in from Anonymous that said, loving this run. Let's get those Pepsi Man cutscenes. And yes, we are at a little over $2,600 out of 8,000. So let's get those donations in for Pepsi Man, the cutscenes. You know you want to see them. I want to see them. I want to see them too. Uh, we got a $50, $50 donation from Mark that says, I have to donate during my favorite part of GDQ. Good luck to all the chefs. Uh, $50 comes in from Nemo2342 that says, Who needs sleep when you can be watching Silly Block? Thanks to all the runners, staff, and speed friends keeping it comfy during this amazing block. Uh, we got $25 donation from Sky Destinies that says, Wait, if KZ Fru is the only one who's heard the voice acting, shouldn't he know the most about the lore? Man, look, okay, <laughs> wow. hold, hold on. Hold, I did not beat this game with the voices on. I have not done that one. But if you wanted to expose me as a fraud, all you have to do is ask me, like, a simple lore question. Like, what's the name of our boss? What's the name of the bad guy? Yeah, who's the guy in the, in the limo up here? Who is the guy in the limo <laughs> up here? I have no idea. So we are approaching the end of this mission here. Um, the last thing to do is you're in a limo fight with this guy. A very violent limo fight. Um, I guess... You know, motorcycles, self-driving motorcycles, trucks can't stop you. Maybe another limo with a dude in it, but no, unfortunately not. Shout out to uh, Sam Scarfo for our national anthem there. Yeah, thank you. Also, the auto scroller is just longer than the length of the track, so if you, if you listen closely there, you can actually hear the, uh, the track restart. <laughs> just, they just loop it. It just starts over again. And the track is only for that auto scroller. So, like, they, right. they, yeah, they, knew, right. they knew what they were doing. They knew what they were doing. They, they could have changed it, maybe. I don't know. So, um, this is another. You've probably noticed there's a couple missions where PMC is just driving rather than taking a taxi. That's because for some reason you do have to race to them, you have a time limit. So, that's why he's looking for like a fast car here. Cop's a good, uh, cop car is a good choice. Uh, unfortunately, to not get a motorcycle at any point in this run, I think this is the last race mm -hmm, mission, so yeah. you don't get to experience life on two wheels in New York City. It's terrifying. It's pretty insane. It's 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 fast, but you got to really hold on. You yeah. got to really stay glued to your seat. Marcus doesn't even look at the road. He just puts his head down and he yep. refuses to consider what's happening before him. All right, so we are almost at our destination here. This is... Uh, this mission has lots of weird things that are that could happen. First, we got to print some news. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Now, this is the most likely place in the run for a mega jump. Uh, I'm going to set it up and hold down the button, and we'll see what happens. There's a pretty low chance of it, but on the GDQ channel. Oh! Oh! Yeah, dude! Yeah. Yes! <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, the chance of that is so low. You it's said, staggering. That's the magic word is I, low chance. Yeah. <laughs> when I practice this game, I get that, like, 1% of the time. When I do this uh. run on the GDQ Twitch <laughs> channel, it's, like, 80% for some reason. Yeah, I think you're about to be struck by lightning. Out of a sample size of, like, six. Uh, now, nah, that's New York. That's New York. <laughs> <laughs> that is crazy. So, yeah, it's basically just horizontal movement all the way across yeah, the, the I, level. I'm, that was a slow climb. Right I, I need to slow down. Yeah. I don't know. I'm going too fast. Yeah. Ladder climbing is variable based on, I don't know, whatever. Yeah. The, the temperature, the weather, the time. Astrology. Of day. Who knows? Yeah. <laughs> I'm uh, really impressed you managed to get that mega jump. Yeah. I, I've, I've been practicing the game for weeks, and I have not gotten a single mega jump while practicing for this marathon. I can't oh believe God. how hyped oh. I was for that. I I'm could so the... hyped, I forgot to actually destroy oh, yeah. this guy. Oh, yeah. Oh, we forgot an entire part of this mission. Um, <laughs> he might actually no, I, might actually, I might actually fail. <laughs> <laughs> you just got to do it again. If you get it twice, <laughs> man, I'm going to lose he can. my mind. It, it's happened. I know. <laughs> no, there's no way. There's no way it'll happen How twice. could it possibly happen? It couldn't possibly happen. It couldn't okay? possibly happen. It would be ridiculous. 
No, okay. Okay. We're all safe. Okay. We're all safe. I was about to pinch myself if that happened <laughs> twice, dude. Okay, so you do get to see the backup for this, which is actually quite good. Um, mm -hmm. You push a barrel in front of uh, these pallets, and it's very uh, jank. It takes a while sometimes. I think PMC, this was your invention. This is this is my one contribution yeah, to tech. So in this this is like a nightmare of your own design here. Exactly. The okay. reason I was I was not prepared is because I actually have not gotten the mega jump, so I forgot. Mm. When you do the backup strat, you blow up the truck here, and so you don't need to blow up the truck from the balcony. So yeah. that's really, I mean, as I said, I hadn't gotten there in practice, so I had totally forgotten that I need to blow up the truck. Uh, it's just that is how rare it is for that thing to happen. Best possible outcome, I think. Yeah, you got to you got to see all the good print factory stuff. A fun thing you can do in this mission is uh, clip into that little courtyard area, get into the truck, and drive out the tunnel, and you'll just fail the mission yourself. Um, very good. I I think I did that once when I was like, maybe there's a way to like possibly make this mission easier. But no, dude, so I now, just found new ways to fail. Now this dude is gonna get in the truck, but the truck's already exploded, so he's just gonna fall out of it and then run to the point where I was waiting before. Yeah. As you can see the objective is now interrogate. Yeah, this is what we would expect this to happen. Is what, this is what I expected to yeah. happen. If our brains were screwed on right and it wasn't like 4 a.m., then uh, this would have gone better. But uh, it was funny, so I don't really care. It worked out. Just, you know, it's content. You know, we're, we're fine. Yeah, uh, it's just more content. It's fine. All right, so we are, we are rapidly approaching the end of the President's Club. And of course, what are we gonna do next? We're gonna get a taxi. Have we gotten any uh, clear night skies in this run? Have you Do noticed? you have those in news? Well, I mean, according to this game. Why did they? Okay, what are they doing? You all right there, taxi? Oh, all right. Goodbye. That's not a taxi. That's a yellow car. I, I mean, I, sometimes I just shoot those. It's illegal to have the car, yellow car that isn't yeah. a taxi. It's ridiculous. No, according to this game, you can have beautiful, like, <laughs> star-speckled night skies with the, you know. That's true. Uh, I think that the moon even has star speckles that's, on yes, it. That's, yes, that's right. So in some of these missions, we do lose our guns. So we have to be very scrappy about the weapons we pick up. This is going to be a mission where I'm very closely managing what weapons I have. Uh, welcome to True Anime New York City. You got him with the sword. <laughs> sword of the chest, best way to do it. And now, and now, remember, I don't have a backup weapon, so I have to be very careful about managing my ammo and making sure that I always have weapons to use as I go through these recording studios and try to make my way to the final, the boss of this area. Yeah, you only have like a fistful of bullets in this level at any given time, so you're constantly juggling weapons. And I don't think that's the thing we actually talked about during the run, is like just some missions you just don't have your gun for like one reason or another. There's some very silly scenario why you've been stripped of your weapons and you need to like improvise. Um, and this is one of them. This is one, especially too, where these you guys shot the piano player. Are already yeah, how going, dare you, PMC? I mean, look, you know, that's just. I just look. If I could have done it a different way, I would have. You know. Reasonable. Oh man. Okay, so we can clip through this gate to go to the elevator, but the elevator does not activate as the exit until we hit the button. So there's really no reason to do it otherwise. And now we're just going to use our shift walk to get closer to the, the entrance. And then once we get closer, since the shift you know, would, would cause us to auto-aim at somebody, that's when we just start shooting the gun so we can continue walking fast and just walk past all these guys. This is uh, quite difficult. It's kind of an anime fight. Benjamin has a number of pads you need to break. You start with a katana, and you can do quite a bit of damage to him. Um, but he has a number of moves that knock you down, which are quite annoying after you're Sword breaks, you go for some bamboo sticks, which is labeled heavy weapon by the game. I'm <laughs> sure bamboo is a heavy weapon. And uh, once you break all his pads, he runs into his dojo, and you uh, continue on with the second phase of the fight. Um, EMC is going to, I guess you actually can't chuck the bamboo. No, you don't have any. it broke, so, so I'm just uh, going to go straight into punch loops. Yep, punch loop them. Pretty easy, pretty standard. There you go. The old way to do that would be to radial, like knock him down and then kick him on the ground, and that is uh, slow and comes with a lot of wake-up attacks. So punch loops are much, much better, and I think you're basically punch looping him here as well. That's right. But so I'm going to do a heavy, heavy, heavy attack loop. Yeah. But I'm going to do it the first strike on this. Yeah, this oh, no, goes... I messed up. Ah, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> 
It could have gone uh, very fast, but uh, as you know, sometimes these things happen. There we go. We're just destroying the telecommunications tower. And then we chuck the sword. Chuck the sword into the just night. Somewhere it's going to land on someone. Yeah. <laughs> or a cat or something. I don't know. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> okay. Uh, I believe the last mission is what is up next. That's right. We're heading into the yep. finale. It turns out that the, uh, the crooked cop that we've been looking for all along was actually our mentor who faked his own death at the beginning of the game. He's been trying to get away on a subway train for the past, I don't know how long, uh, but he just hasn't gotten off the train. Well, yeah, why is he still in New York? I'll never know. I'll never know. Train delays. Yeah, there you go. So apprehend Terry, you just run forward, you shoot. He shoots back and he shoots back quite a lot and quite quick, so you have a number of med kits here to keep your health high. It is easy to die on this one. Yep, Sometimes I've done it. Just, yep, everybody's done it, you just get unlucky. Um, last car should be coming up here. Time will be at the end of this sequence. You're going to have a slow-mo dive out of the train, and then when you fully fade to black, that is time. Yeah, so again, we'll get, we'll get time when we get the end of the sequence right here, and time. Underestimate, brother. Awesome. What are we? 1549. Oh, yes. Not bad at Excellent. all. Excellent. Not bad at all. Um, you know, thank you so much, GDQ, for having me. Thank you to F and Cat, KZ Fru, all the you know, all the people who've touched True Crime New York City Scalar as a Terror. run, Scalar Terror especially. Uh, you know, thank you, MD and Fretzel and Fru, for being on couch with me. Uh, you know, couldn't have done this run without y'all. Uh, you know, thank you to Icy. You, your support means so much to me. Can't wait to be home. So, uh, thank you, and maybe don't play True Crime New York City. <laughs> Everybody give it up one more time for PMC Trilogy. What an amazing run of a not so amazing game. We got a $25 donation here from Grove Spaz that says, Hey PMC and crew, congrats on the mega jump. Must be Windows 11. It must be. We've got a $10 donation here from Momrath that says, my husband introduced me to GDQ when we started dating in 2016. Silly Block and Pepsi Man were two of the first things he excitedly tried to describe to me, but we all know that one must experience Silly Block to understand it. Here we are several years later, and we're still staying up ir until irresponsible hours to watch our favorite games. So, yes, Chef, that's Beans, Orb, and Hype! I had to donate now to the Pepsi Man cutscenes. Well, thank you very much for that. We got a $50 donation here from Ace, uh, Aceist Artist. I'm hoping I'm saying that right. It says, this donation is for Pepsi Man cutscenes because GDQ needs to see the glory that is Mike Butters. They really do need to see that. Courtney Rail sends in $25 with the uh, comment, gotta get those incentives met. Pepsi Men need to know why they're running. Wayne's World needs cosplay representation. And pirate songs aren't going to sing themselves. Let's go. And a special thank you to the tech crew and everyone working behind the scenes. Y'all are very much appreciated. Less than three. Yeah, can we get a round of applause for the tech team working here at Games Done Quick? Let's give them a round of applause. They absolutely deserve it. We've got a $25 donation here from Lord Azuel that says, Pepsi Man! Far Hago sends in $100 with the comment, I know I'll be bird dealing with psychic damage to folks with these golf puns. Haters will say it's illegal and I'll be cross with me, but I had to donate to support Nicole and Bath. It's a good thing I'm not there in person this year or I'd definitely be shown the, the condor. Good luck with the mines. Yeah, that is for uh, one of our upcoming runs, Golf It. That is actually the next run in the docket. We got a $50 donation here from Anonymous. No comment, no problem. Thank you very much. And a $100 donation from Jess Amy that says, Silly Block. It is indeed Silly Block. $20 comes in from Parkour that says, Hey everyone, glad to see such a beautiful event for a great cause back once again. Putting as much money as possible towards Pepsi Man because 
Come on, how can you not? My personal favorite is Mango Pepsi. Tell me yours. That's actually a great idea. Why don't you send in a donation with your favorite Pepsi? And as a reminder, we here at Summer Games Done Quick are raising money for Doctors Without Borders. Doctors Without Borders, or MSF, brings medical humanitarian assistance to people affected by conflict, natural disasters, epidemics, and healthcare exclusion. When disaster strikes, MSF staff are often among the first on the scene, sometimes arriving in a matter of minutes. 94% of money raised by MSF USA in 2021 came from individual donor donors as they do not accept any government funding and are free from any government, political, or military goals. This allows MSF to reach communities in need without restriction, often going where other organizations cannot. Well, ladies and gentlemen and non-binary friends, that is going to be it for me tonight. But fear not, I will be back a little bit later this week. In the meantime, I'm going to be leaving you in the extraordinarily capable hands of the Kyle Thomas. Thank you all so much for all your donations. Have yourselves a wonderful rest of Silly Block, and I will catch you all a little bit later.
Hello, everyone. I am the Kyle Thomas here with you right at the beginning, kicking off this silly block, continuing from New York. We are going to get ready for golf it, but before that, we're going to take you over for an interview with some of the silly block runners.